Hi, this is another rendition of Bob Botech. There are occasions where you want to find a simple solution, and those Google searches don't readily provide you with an answer. And then after spending lots of time, you end up with such an easy solution that you feel like a fool? This video is about one of those my experiences. Oh, by the way, if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit like, subscribe and the bell. Have you ever wondered how you can scroll horizontally with your third-party mouse on iPad, or a Mac Mini? For MacBooks, you won't need that function since you have the trackpad. So one might end up asking this question. Do I need to buy those fancy mouses that cost $80 to $100? Actually, it was among the reasons, I purchased the infamous Apple Magic Mouse. Now that I am shuttling between my iPad Pro and the Mac Mini, I wanted to find out how to scroll sideways in a movie with a mouse, mostly for Mac Mini. Although I rarely use the iMovie version on the Mac, because it is cumbersome. If you are using iPad strictly as a tablet, there's actually no need to use the mouse while editing with iMovie. In fact, I prefer using my fingers even though I use iPad Pro as my main desktop. Fingering through those timelines are really engaging, so when it comes time to edit my video, I am oblivious to the large monitor, and I edit on my iPad and sometimes even on iPad mini sitting at a sofa. Anyways, when I finally found out how to scroll sideways with any mouse in a movie, I felt like a fool. You have to use the keyboard. Just press and hold the shift button like this and scroll as usual, the timeline on the iMovie will scroll horizontally just fine, although not as butterly smooth as Apple Mouse or Trackpad, my Logitech Triathlon mouse works very well, when the iPad Bluetooth doesn't give trouble. I probably use more shortcut keys than most people and I didn't figure this out. You know it's only natural that the shift button should shift the direction of the scroll. Well. It works on the title selections as well, when the iPad doesn't kill the third-party mouse, which it does so often. Apple really needs to shore up its game on these Bluetooth issues. It's been now a year and Apple still hasn't perfected their accessibility mouse features even with its own mice, let alone third-party mouses. I think it's a shame. I tried it on LumaFusion and it scrolls fine as you see. That's it. Darn, so another Bobo, the fools, tech day. Peace.